um, showcase that auctions this one is in mint state 64 red exceptional preservation and i appeal for this perennially popular lincoln scent variety drenched in a vivid pinkish rose color both sides also sport lively mint luster in a satin to softly frosted texture the strike is sharp to full throughout the design the surface is knocking on the door of an even higher numeric grade the vast majority of mint state 1955 double diverse scents have been certified by pcgs and ngc this coin shown here is a significant condition rarity due to the full mint color and carefully preserved surfaces that it possesses if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please make sure to hit subscribe and notification buttons below this video. So this superb gem ended up selling for $22,200 at Stax Powers Auction. This is 1942D Jefferson Nickel and Mint State 66 with full steps. D over horizontal D repunched mint mark variety. The 1942D is considered nearly if not equally as scarce as a 1939D with a coveted D over horizontal D mint mark. The 1942D is a unrivaled serious key and issue. In terms of surface quality and eye appeal, this example excels as well. Bright peach gold toning at the margin surrounds a lustrous, largely untoned portrait of Jefferson. The reverse is equally lustrous with dappled peach gold and pale blue shades. It was sold for $17,050 and 43 cents at Heritage Auctions. Moving on with this 1943S Washington Quarter with double diverse, graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. CAC proven superb gem, intense frosty to semi reflective luster greets the viewer from both sides of this bright and brilliant example. Striking detail is razor sharp throughout, the surface is impressively smooth in preservation. One of the most dramatic double dye varieties in Washington Quarter series, as well known to specialists, the 1943S FS101 presents a considerable challenge in grades above MS64. This is finest offer by Stax Powers in more than a decade, and it represents a fleeting opportunity. It was sold for $6,000 in June 2023 at Stax Powers Auction. Here is 1964 Kennedy Half Dollar in MS68 condition from Special Mint Set. More rumors and the facts surround the issuance of 1964 SMS coins, but examples are known from the sent through Half Dollar. Many of the 1964 Kennedy Half Dollars, Here's a Breen Complete Encyclopedia and other sources were struck in 1965 from 1964 dated dies. Rongas and Bill Gale in United States Proof Sets and Mint Sets 1936-2002 assert that the production of 1964 dated coins continued at the mint until 1966. It is entirely possible, if not entirely likely, that the 1964 special mint set coins may also have been struck in early 1965, as the mint only began shipment of the 1965 special mint sets on May 20s. This piece exhibits a characteristic sharp strike on both sides usually seen on the 1964 SMS coins, along with heavy dye polishing also usual for the issue. The obverse is a normal hair, non-accented hair, while the reverse is type 1 reverse with a straight G in the FS designer's initials and the breaks in the rays, 11, 13, counting from the left where they meet stars. This half dollar ended up selling for $10,350 at heritage auctions. Here is 1961D Franklin half dollar in MS66 condition with full bell lines, light, gently mottled sandy silver iridescence drifts over both sides, but yields to virtually brilliance as the coin dips into light. According to Rick Tomaska's observation that the 1961D is another very rare Franklin date in MS66 with or without bell lines, it was sold for $1,500 at Stax Powers auction. This is 1939D Lincoln Scent in Mint State 68, lovely lime color graces the center, bounded by salmon pink hues, a pinpoint sharp and thoroughly lustrous example. The 1939D is not rare in Mint State, but few wheat reverse scents of any date exceed MS67 red level. It was sold for $11,500 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1932S Washington Quarter in Mint State 65. 
highly desirable gem mint state quality for this eagerly sold Keydate Washington Quarter issue. Both sides are brilliant and fully lustrous with a smooth, frosty appearance. With only 408,000 coins struck, the 1932S has the lowest mintage among circulation strike Washington Quarters. High grade survivors such as these are always in demand among advanced collectors. It was sold for $3,120 at Stax Powers auction. This is 1967 Kennedy of Dollar in Mint State 68 from Special Mint State, from Special Mint Set with deep cameo designation, an enchanting specimen with uncommon degree of feel to device contrast for the Special Mint State Kennedy of Dollar. Of the 1965 to 1967 era, untoned silver white surfaces are fully struck, virtually pristine, and a delight to behold. Virtual all of the 1.8 million SMS half dollars produced in 1967 are universally brilliant with proof like surfaces, a finish achieved without over polishing the dies, as had been done for 1965 and 1966 SMS issues. While the 1967 SMS comes closest to the proof status of these three issues, examples rarely display enough field to devise contrast to warrant a deep or ultra cameo designation from the leading third-party certification services. An impressive strike rarity as such, the coin shown here is also remarkable condition rarity that ranks among the finest certified examples in the category. It fetched a sum of $3,120 at Stax Powers auction. This is 1930 Dill Lincoln Sand and Mint State 67 Red, boldly struck with frosty orange luster and only a couple tiny pepper specks. This 1930 Dill Lincoln Sand is conditionally rare. Branch mint issues of this period are almost universally scarce in superb gem condition, where registry set collectors most actively seek to acquire examples. It was sold for $11,400 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1909 SVDB scent in mint state 65 red condition. Softly frosted surfaces are fully struck, smooth, and dressed in vivid medium mint orange color. These are always in demand. The 1909 SVDB, a low mintage issue that has long been recognized as a key date in popular Lincoln scent series. Full red gems such as these enjoy a particularly strong following among discerning numismatists. Sold for $5,880 at Stax Powers auction. Here is 1951 S. Washington Quarter in Mint State 68, the mottled, multicolored toning that adorns both sides of this exquisite ultra gem suggests decades spent in an original mint set holder. The surfaces are fully frosted and so carefully preserved to approach numismatic perfection. It was sold for $1,020 at Stax Powers auction. This is 1995 Lincoln Sand with double diverse, graded in mint state 69 red condition. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, the 1995 double die is a last of its kind. Late in 1990s, the Philadelphia and the Denver Mint began issuing a single hop technique. The single hop technique would only strike all dies once, therefore eliminating the possibility of striking major double die coins. The 1995 double die is dramatic enough that it can be seen with the naked eye. The super gem is in mint state 69, meaning it lacks just one point from reaching the numismatic perfection. It was sold on June 18, 2023, for $307.25 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. This is 1920D Vulking Half Dollar in MS65 condition. The 1920S is a top tier condition rarity in Vulking Liberty Half Dollar series. The average certified grade is a lowly 37.5, falling between choice, very fine, and extremely fine 40 condition. This gem far, far exceeds what is normally seen for the issue. Liberty's head is fully defined and clear sum separation exists on the branch end. Both sides are distinctly satiny. All, both sides are distinctly satiny and almost wholly brilliant, save for the seen wisps of almond gold color. Microscopic ticks are well concealed within the elements of design. It ended up selling for thirteen thousand and eight hundred dollars at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit like and subscribe.